beautiful people welcome back to our youtube channel guys my voice is not the best today but we keep going there is no time to waste so before i talk about this video there are some changes already in austria which i'm going to be giving to you now but before i talk about these changes i want to tell you that poland is open and accepting applications now so if you think that you do not have appointment issues in your home country apply to poland why should you apply to poland because almost all these countries in europe are very very expensive now to immigrate so poland is quite affordable because you can even pay instrumentally all right and somehow the tuition is quite cheap there are schools with 1005 17 2000 euros but in most european countries it is not happening so this is why you should apply to poland and equally if you think you are good financially look at france but now this update i'm going to be giving to you is coming from austria if you haven't seen the news before up till now then please listen to me very well those who saw the news please listen to me again because there is something i want you to get from this video now the update is first remember if you are going to embassy or to any embassy or vfs center now to go and apply or do legalization when it comes to austria please go with your money with in euros go in you with money in euros okay that is point number one remember by march 1st austria updated their system there are a lot of things that have changed when it comes to visa application legalization which i'm going to be spilling out to you here but before i spill out this information guys please if you are new here please subscribe to our youtube channel my name is milton remember the only way to support me i don't have a paypal where you can support me support me by sharing this video because that's the way you can give me water to drink you can hear from my voice it is not the best but i'm still putting in effort here so that i can give people the info remember as i'm talking to you now some schools are going to be opening in austria by june july okay again september intake example is the university of grass i already have a video so if you watch this video look at the video below check the other videos below this one you are watching you are going to find a video on a university that is starting in admissions in july and you can start studies by september please check now in austria there are about 70 universities in this particular country which include the university of innsbruck the university of Graz, the university of salzburg the university of vienna klangefok university and the university of economics and business in vienna i have a lot of them these are not all there are about 70 now it is time for you to decide which university you can study remember to study in austria is quite cheap in fact cheap as in cheap because how much is the fees for international students for state universities you are going to pay just about 726.76 euros all right that is per semester but it is still cheap if you put together because one i think there are two semesters in one academic year right so let's say 726 times two that's like close to 1500 per year it is still cheap guys so please put these things into consideration and remember austrian universities offer courses in english language for bachelor's and master's level and phd if you are looking for bsc programs of course i have universities like university of economics and uh, business in uh, vienna okay they offer bachelor's programs in english language as well there are equally other universities you can check them so that you stay up to date then also understand like i talk about the tuition fee already 726 very small money then this is the update now for those of you i already spoke about others i'm still going to talk about more updates for those of you who are going to be applying all ones who are cameroonians and Ghanaians, remember from the embassy's website you can follow a link that will take you to the vfs center in your home country this is where you are going to do verification of your documents verification of your documents will be done here so please check and see for nigerians they must do it at the level of the embassy in abuja please do not forget then nigerians yeah legalization or verification fee 
remember first of all for you to do this this is going to the embassy for nigerians then for cameroonians and Ghanaians, and uh, i think those from uh, togo they are going to take it to their VFS, vfs centers in their country and for you to reach this level you first of all need to do the documents at the level of the ministry of education and foreign affairs then now it now goes to the embassy for them to put their stamp on it on the original documents check the embassy's website now nigerians you are going to be paying 400 euros for this process then if you are a nigerian and you want to move to austria with family you are going to pay 500 euros for this process then if you are a cameroonian Ghanaian, and togolese you are going to pay 700 euros for this process and if you are moving with family or you intend to move with family place your money is 800 euros now if you are nigerian and you reside in nigeria you cannot send someone all right they will not accept if you send someone and you are in nigeria they will not accept to take the documents from the person to follow up the procedure please get this and get this straight don't go there and do otherwise and if you are in the usa and you are in nigeria and you reside in the usa then you can send someone but remember you are not just sending someone with empty hands like this you are going to send the person with an authorization document or letter you have to now figure a way out on how to get authorization i hope you get now another thing you should understand is that if you want to move with family like if you want to go to family with family to austria then you want to do legalization one person like the father or mother must be present to do the legalization you cannot send somebody whereas you want to go with uh, a family please check the website well and read these informations these are things that were put in place in march then again you cannot do like they will do the checks don't even bother about anything don't ask questions if how would they know if i'm in nigeria how would they know if i they would check okay remember these people that's the reason you are paying those money that huge amount of money they have to send lawyers to verify they might even send lawyers to the immigration and you cannot question them they will check to see if you are actually in the country or you're outside so don't worry that's the reason they are charging you those money in fact where you were born do you even know that the lawyer will go to where you were born you don't know but i'm telling you today yes that's what they do lawyers sometimes they come to your house to check yeah i'm telling you facts so you should know this then again remember for you to do this uh, legalization stuff at uh, the level of the embassy of vfs centers to apply for a school in austria you need to contact the school to send you a document okay if the school is not sending you a document let them at least like if you go to the school website you can see the, where it was indicated or where the school said you have to do legalization if they do not send you the documents speak to them if they say they are not giving then go to their site and download that page that's give all those that gave all those information on legalization most schools have it so you will definitely see it there then family reunion if you like if you want to invite your spouse over to austria if you are in austria you want to bring your spouse in via family reunion visa make sure you that is in austria should snap a uh, like scan your residence permit in austria and send to your spouse back in nigeria to add to the application and do the process okay it's very mandatory then there is a questionnaire you have to fill there is a document i think on the website is a questionnaire you have to download it fill it okay and sign it because before you take it to the uh, vfs center or the embassy because they will need to see it that questionnaire is they will ask you some questions on it and you will respond to them so please do not forget to go with it then again remember if you really want to do this process it takes at least four months yeah i was talking to somebody one month ago i think three weeks back and this person was like milton um i really want to move to austria how will i do it i asked the person have you legalized your documents he said no then i said it's not possible this year well the reason i said it's not possible is because appointments to get appointments for legalization is a very big issue guys it's a very big issue and remember you cannot do otherwise you only have to wait but if you succeed and one thing i would say is always be checking the site the embassy's website it's possible that you can just be checking and you find an appointment yes i know somebody who dropped from an appointment and when he was about to book 
it was not available again then i know someone who booked and later did not attend you understand in this case the embassy is going to open it and maybe give the chance to another person so please put all of this into consideration okay remember this process of verification and authentication it takes at least four months three to four months so i think for the school i was talking about that is starting july now we are in may june july in fact it's just close to three months i think so but you may be lucky they might do it quickly you may be lucky this is the information according to the embassy it takes four months for legalization so guys please do not forget to share if you haven't shared this is the information the anointed village boy is bringing to you today please share this video like the video and do not forget subscribe to the channel till we meet again in another one right bye, -bye.